Hi, how are you guys doing? Well, it's been a while since my last uh, IGTV video. Uh, nevertheless, I'm here shooting my next uh, uh, IGTV for this uh, one query that I keep getting all the time, which is uh, what are the different results uh, if you use a wand or a tongue? What is the difference between the two? And etc. etc. So uh, I'm going to open all the keys to these questions today because I have both in hand. I have a wand that ranges from the 13 to uh, 25 mm size range. And then I have a tone that I have received from Alan Truman, which is at a 32 mm. So uh, if you can see, there is a wide uh, gap between the two sizes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my hair into two different sections. And I'm going to show you what the result of the wand and what the result of the tongue is yeah well first things first uh, just to give you a small brief of the tongue the tongue is something that comes in with this clamp so as to wind your hair completely till the ends so the ends are not left loose in your tongue as they are left in the wand. The wand is not currently plugged in because I'm going to be doing the rest of my hair with this. If you can see the barrel is uh, it gets narrower and it tapers towards the top. Now the thing is that this your, this is exactly what your hair would be winded into. However, because there is no clamp per se, the hair is quite loose and um, it's very you know it has these little fish hooks at the bottom which is actually what we're trying to achieve okay so uh, that's that Here we are. Uh, the left side of my hair is done with the Allen Truman 32mm tong, which is with the clam and the technique that we've used is the feeding technique. That is why you get this nice wave with the ends loosely tucked in. And the right side of my hair is uh, done with the wand, which is the 25mm wand. If you can see, it's more like that S kind of a beach wave, wherein the ends are left with the fish hooks. That's the difference between the two. 